Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go underwater and we're going to talk about how to fish the blade bait and the spoon, all types of metal baits in the cold water. So, hey, let's dive in. We'll see you there. So the first spot we're gonna check is this spot right here. We got two underwater humps. This area right in the middle screams wintertime perch, wintertime walleye. So we're gonna run right through the middle of this and we're gonna loop around. We're not gonna fish it until we start seeing a bunch of stuff marking, but I'm seeing a mark right here. That's probably a walleye sitting on the edge of this flat and 30 feet of water. You know it's a walleye because it's a big arch, right? Right in here, we're gonna run up this flat and see what we can find on the graph before we ever start fishing in the winter time. You're gonna have to do a lot more graphing than you are fishing. Just kind of the way it is when the water is cold as it is, 41. We're gonna be doing a lot of vertical jigging, a lot of stuff today. So we got a couple walleye in there. Let's find some perch. You can see him now. So guys, let's go underwater on this blade. This is a perfect example of what the blade is doing underwater. It's vibrating up and then falling back down. It is a pure reaction bite on the blade. This is the Bensky half ounce silver blade right here. This is what I throw like 90% of the time because you know, you can buy expensive blades, you can buy cheap blades. I replace the hooks on all of mine. Um, it's just meant to be fished over sandy conditions like this low grass conditions. It does a fantastic job looking like bait. Um, it's hard to film 15 feet underwater too, if you haven't noticed, but the blade does an awesome job coming off the bottom, given that vibration and that flash. I like silver on sunny days, gold on dark days. It flashes better, but you can see that really flashes there, catches fish attention. Um, walleye really like this bait. Smallmouth really like this bait. Bass will eat this bait in cold water. It's an awesome, awesome bait to throw and it's gonna help you hook up with a lot of different species of fish. It looks very natural and it's a pure reaction bite. The other bait that I like to throw over scattered vegetation, this is where perch and walleye love to live, bass hang out here and eat them, um, is the Castmaster Spoon. And this literally falls perfectly. It looks just like a dying bait fish in the water. It's way more subtle than a blade bait, but it's got that nice fall on it. Crappie love to eat this bait. It does fantastic in cold water. That flash and ripple right there, it's a vertically jigging bait. You can fish it just like an ice jig here, you know, dangling it, jiggling it around. Um, it's just a bait that a lot of fish are going to eat, and it's a good way to hook up with fish in cold water. Metal baits are gonna get it done when the temperatures are in those 30s. All right, guys, so when we're talking about fish in the blade, we wanna make a long cast out, right? I'm always using kind of a medium to medium heavy rod. I wanna feel what's going on, straight fluorocarbon. You can go braid to fluorocarbon leader, but I like to go straight fluorocarbon because braid kind of freezes up sometimes when it's real cold. With the blade, I wanna let it sink down and then I wanna bring that rod from about 10 to about 12, and then just let it fall. And then 10 to about 12, let it fall. And that blade is working, so it's thumping on the way up, right? 10 to 12, right there. 10 to 12 right there, you can feel that blade going as you raise it up. You just wanna feel it start to vibrate. This is slow fishing. Think of it like fishing a worm, fishing a jig. You wanna feel it start to vibrate, right? Most of the time, fish are gonna come and pin it on the bottom. They're going to watch it hit the bottom as soon as it starts to go up, boom. Especially if you can find green weeds, most bass we catch with this lure in their mouth are gonna have a piece of green weed on it because they're gonna trap it as it's coming out, right? 
So, long cast, let it sink, and then you want your rod here at about 10 o'clock. As it sinks, you'll feel it hit the bottom, then just reel up, give it a nice little pop, let it fall. Reel up, give it a nice little pop, let it fall. And that's kind of what you're doing with a blade bait. Now, we talked about where you want to fish blades on deep points, deep saddles, deep humps. Um, we got into walleye earlier on the blade bait. So it's just one way that you can do it. I hooked into something big on Tippy Lake the other day in a blade. It's one of the most um, reactive lures in the cold water that you can use. Um, and it's just a way to get a bite when really nothing else will. Um, give it a try guys it's a cold water killer thanks for hanging out with us today we hope you learned something um hope you're liking the underwater content let us know in the future what you want to see underwater and we will see you out there on the lake next time